landmark broadcast deal for Canada's national sport, a breakaway from tradition. A television power play. This deal is historic and forward-looking. Where the puck stops now. Well, I'm asking you guys, do I have a job? <laughs> TV National News with Lisa LaFlam. Good evening. They may play the game down on the ice, but there's another game that gets played up in the boardroom. And tonight, the rules have changed. The biggest broadcast deal in hockey history was announced today with a roster of winners and losers. Rogers will pay $5.2 billion to the NHL for rights to every national game including the playoffs and Stanley Cup finals for the next 12 years. CBC's staple Hockey Night in Canada will stay on the air for now, but won't make money off the broadcast and is losing control of the content. It's also a devastating blow for TSN, which built a reputation for unique NHL coverage, only to be left with some regional broadcasts. CTV's John Venavalli Rao has more on hockey's major shift. It's a breakaway from center ice in. There's never been a play to cover the NHL quite like it, a deal that may change how millions watch the game. What an incredible day for hockey in Canada. Today we announced a landmark agreement. It's a game changer for sports broadcasting. That's because this has never happened before to a North American-wide premium sports league. A single media company, Rogers, being given the rights to every national game in Canada, including the playoffs until the year 2026. We think this deal is historic and forward-looking. It is a partnership to grow the game. The CBC and Bell Media, which own CTV and TSN, had also been bargaining with the NHL for coverage rights. But at $5 billion, Rogers' offer is more than double what Canadian broadcasters are currently paying. The CBC was not, candidly, in a position to spend taxpayers' money in this game of high stakes. Still, the CBC wasn't totally shut out. As part of the deal, Rogers will hand over a few games a week, including the Stanley Cup Finals, allowing Hockey Night in Canada to continue for at least the next four seasons. Though Rogers will sell all the ads during those games and control production, leading to speculation about the future of some Hockey Night staples. I have no idea what's going on. I haven't talked to CBC. I didn't see the press conference. I was en route somewhere. So I'm asking you guys, do I have a job? There were also plenty of questions being asked at competitor TSN which currently broadcasts the bulk of NHL hockey and will lose much of it next year. Veteran broadcaster Bob McKenzie first breaking the story, tweeting, Pains me to report this, but NHL closing in on a landmark Canadian TV deal. Many years, many billions. Hashtag over and out. We have nothing but good feelings of goodwill for the people at TSN, and it's always tough to lose a partner in a property. TSN will carry some regional NHL games and the World Juniors, but Rogers plans to broadcast more national games than ever on multiple channels and streaming to mobile devices. And as for the iconic Hockey Night in Canada theme, many are wondering what will happen to it. It's currently owned by TSN, and the broadcaster apparently has no plans to surrender it, Lisa, to Rogers. Mm, what a shocker. Thanks for this tonight, John. The agreement, of course, still needs to be approved by the NHL Board of Governors when it meets in two weeks. But just to give you an idea of what a huge windfall this is for the league, look at this. NBC in the United States has a broadcast deal with the NHL worth less than half, $2 billion over 10 years. Compare that to the $5.2 billion Rogers is paying for 12 years. Of the 30 teams in the NHL, only 7 are Canadian, 23 are American. So Canada has 23% of the teams but is now paying about 72% of the league's broadcast revenue.